If any members on the outside seeing this are uh, hello, uh, you can come into Patreon and click on the Zoom link to join me on Zoom. So you, you can ask me questions or interact with me. And if you des decide to ping with me through those process, and we're going to do a review at the end of this demonstration. So this demonstration it will probably take an hour and and so hopefully you're going to stay with me. So if anyone haven't heard about the Patreon, our Patreon space, you look at the top over here, you can see that patreon.com slash youngchen. This is uh, the place that you can come to join us. Okay, there's also have some materials for public uh, viewers as well. Okay, uh, let's talk about this challenge. There's a lot of space over here they are uh, uh, garment fabrics and dressing. And we only have this much room over here for the main object. So there's a lot of thing we're going to take care of uh, from this process to thinking about the balance. For example, if we only have, uh, have this thing over here, uh, we need to thinking about that how much room on the top over here. You can see that there's the lots of dark color over here. It could be become overwhelming. So we also want to care about those interesting uh, detail, a lot of changes over here. But at the same time, you don't want to have too much distraction from this to take away the attention from the fruits, the main object, right? Okay, so I'm going to start with uh, getting the just the light color and just with the calligraphy brush. Okay, so I'm going to just get a little bit more water. A little bit lighter, a little bit brownish colors. The only three color we're using in the watercolor painting that is just the Windsor yellow, Windsor red, and Prussian blue, a Windsor blue green shade. Okay, in this painting, we don't really need to use any red shade blue color. Okay, okay, let's take a look. Hang on. So any member, if you have questions, please turn on your audio and then you can ask me. And I would put the answers in my following uh, talk. Okay, I'm going to use my hand, take a look at how high that whole, you can see the whole triangle or rectangle of the whole uh, area, right? So I'm going to put it over here. Maybe the top should be here. Okay, just draw a little bit lighter, like just use the water, no worry about too much about. And the bottom over here, the fruit, the grape over here. And take a look at the apple, and you can make the decision slowly, okay, you don't have to rush. Uh, and then this the side of the apple would be probably here. So after we know exactly the space, on the left to the right, and then we're going to use the available space and divide it into smaller shape. We always do that from large to smaller shape, not uh, smaller shape, and then try to figure out how to uh, include everything, right? So, okay, we're going to take a look at the left side. Uh, in the reference, it's kind of tight on the left side over here. So I'm going to move it a little bit more to the right side, the fruit could be over here, right? Uh, the color light enough, uh, I'm drawing, it should be okay. Uh, it should not be cause any much panic. Okay, now I'm gonna continue. Now take a look at the top over here, the left over here, the right over here, we talk about compositions. And lots of people try to avoid it, okay? Now I'm gonna take a look at, the middle over here is about the left side of the apple, right? So I'm going to put a little bit side over here. It's very simple. If you do that step by step, there's just nothing need to be too much worry about. I also going to lead you through how to modify and the, uh, the placement or composition. Okay, this apple over there. Okay, this is good. I'm going to soften that a little bit over here if I don't really want to keep that mark. Okay, take a look at 
continue. Now I'm going to take a look at under over here. Uh, this kind of the left side over here of this white shape, it's a little bit too close to the edge of the apple. What we're going to do, I'm going to move it a little bit to the left side. Uh, coming over here, coming down. Uh, this click of the brush is very good with controlling uh, the shape and the, the line. Okay. If you already have this brush, you can go back to the place that you get the order the brush to to watch the technique demonstration, which is enjoyingart.com slash brushes. Okay. If you haven't have it, you can try it too. Okay, take a look over here. Take a look at at the bottom of the red apple coming over here like that. Be a little bit free. Okay. This is your painting. You can control it. Okay, okay, this is good. And gradually we block in all the shape. Okay, coming over here, and there's a shape coming down. It maybe change the angle a little bit. This is too much redundant with that. So I'm gonna soften this. Okay, you just have to think it through. And I'm gonna coming over here. Maybe I'm gonna make it a little bit softer. So I don't want it to be look like very uh, pop up or dominate. So, okay, coming down over here, maybe uh, just let it lose, lost it, or maybe um, divide it like this on, this, on this side, like that. And maybe over here should be moving in a little bit. So water is our eraser in watercolor painting. So you're coming, could be over here, right? This is good. So if we have it over there, and those, you can see the underneath, and have some translucent. You can see this, also translucent. Uh, uh, there's two layers, right? Okay, let's do something very uh, critical and at this point. And I'm gonna take a look at this, another shape over here. I'm gonna coming down. Here you go, like that. And I want you to be really free to think about what you want, what you like. Okay, there's another shape over here coming down. Okay, there we go. And you are very much like drawing with watercolor. It's very simple. Now, think what you like before you put the mark in. So now take a look at, we know this green apple over here, the red apple over here. So I'm gonna see the red apple a little bit smaller. So can only come in here. Right, like that. And then the little bit, I think is a pomegranate in the back over here, like that. That looks like another one in the back, so we can ignore that one. Okay, here we go. Like this, this is good. We have some shape over here. We can take care of the small shape a little bit later. and. Uh, the apple and the apple, the top, the stem right over there. Now I'll take a look at the mark, okay. The mark over here. Yeah, I'll take a look and this side, the mark. Think about the proportion, a little bit wider than an apple. So I'm gonna put that right here, like that. And the top of the mark, we already set that over there. This is good. And the handle. So very much there. One thing at a time, make sure you start from the larger shape and then smaller shape, okay, like this. And now I'll, let's figure out the fruit, okay. And this, need to think about the big shape. This is almost like a triangle. You can see that this right here and the top over here and the and the, the little thingy on the top over here and then coming down over here and think about a big shape and before you think about a smaller shape. And I'm gonna even have a little bit red color coming over here. Take a look at where's the bottom. The bottom of this fruit would be right here, like that, this one, and then we're gonna divide them. So making sure we figure things out before we start the painting. And you may be asked, is, is, is this not a painting? This is composition step. 
we consider the same thing if you use a uh, pencil and you would do the same thing. I more and more prefer that use the brush to do the drawing. It just have less mess and everything you maybe think about is not mess. It's, I think it's about more mess with watercolor. No, if you think carefully before you start it, it's okay. And also you can erase it with water. It's actually very simple. And that's not the oven over here. Since you already have the bigger shape and also those color actually can be used in the painting because it's light enough, right? So have another one coming up over here. Okay, it's all about confidence. And if you have the confidence, you would not be afraid of it. It just pay attention to it. And don't close the eye. I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing. Okay, you actually, you can see everything. Now take a look at from here, from this fruit to this fruit, I already planned that that would be the one all the way on the left side, right? So which is the middle one? Okay, the middle one, I think this is from here to here. The middle one's right here. Okay, we can put the middle one over here. And then from there, there's another one over here. It's right in here. Again, you can change it. You can change the arrangement. And this one can be a little bit higher if you want to. Okay. And all those colors we put in over here is not really, uh, really that dark. Okay. It's just, you, when you paint the, the real color, uh, you can make it even uh, richer, darker. Okay, here you go. And there's another one over here. Okay. I would not suggest you to actually, unless you are very confident now, and just watch me and ask me questions. Give me a list of questions at the end. So member can be with me on Zoom too. And we have, each month we have more demonstration like this and also we have learning, right? Make sure that you participate in um, the monthly challenge. Uh, you vote the subject matter you want and then you prepare it, you're following me. We're also going to make, uh, we have full video every uh, lessons and demonstrations for members. And also over here, have a little stem over here. This is good enough. So we're seeing that, oh, so this is our order space. I'm going to put a little bit dark color over here, suggest it. And this is just the drawing step, right? So I'm going to have a little yellow. So I'm going to use the color very close to the actual painting color at the end. So I'm going to have this a little bit for this the wood material coming over here. Take a look at it again. And we are, plan we are planning for the spring semester, okay? If you remember, you have not expressed what you want and please come to uh, the patron and then you can vote for the one we should have in the spring semester for classes. I think that's a little bit too low, so I'm gonna soften it. And maybe, I don't really, probably don't really need that. We're gonna see. So this needs to be a little bit higher over here. So after you drive, I will come back to do a little bit more. And but at this point, we can start the painting. So we already know the placement already. We know the top over here, the background is going to be darker. Okay, it's gonna be wet into wet. And then we're going to walk into the color, uh, the large color over here. So I'm gonna use the, uh, one inch flat brush. I'm going to masking those big shape, and then we're gonna go into a smaller shape. So let this dry faster. Just use the paper towel and then dry this a little bit. Make it a little bit faster. Okay, that's good. Okay, don't scratch the watercolor paper. Okay, this is good. Now, are you ready? Now take a look at the top over here. It's gonna be quite a dark color. Maybe don't do the top over here yet. Well, or you can do the color over here if you want, right? Or you can do the color on the top. Let's see. Okay, now let's do the color on the top. I'm gonna use the dark color first. 
use the red and the blue and the yellow okay a little bit yellow so you have a little bit more brownish color I got a little bit of red in it got the blue if you want to be darker you got to have the blue color right okay watercolor after you dry is always appear to be a little bit lighter so feel free to make it a little bit darker at the beginning okay I'm going to start from the top over here okay here we go get a little bit more water okay here you go exciting I'm gonna get a little bit blue and you can feel the color again make it a little bit more a little bit more blue this is the pleasant blue or the Windsor blue is very similar it's a green shade blue color I'm gonna take a look at before you move too fast I'm adding taking lots of red okay uh, in a brush Okay, I'm going to keep adding this into here. Now take a look at and the top. I'm going to leave a little gap like this. That's good. Okay, a little curve. That's good. All right, we don't have to be perfect. It's okay. And coming in here. That's good. A little gap. Just coming around, we can have this as the first color, and we can add the other color a little bit later. This is good, like that, and it's good. Okay, a little curve. The large brush is really taking things really well. I'm gonna get a little bit more red and the blue color again. I'm going to come in on this side, more red. Okay, let's take a look at the edge here. Coming down, it's really good. And this is good. Coming over here, take a look at the hot top, and we can have the color a little bit softer at the top by having the uh, intermediate color okay here we go now as it's coming a little bit closer lower over here I'm going to take a little bit more yellow color just take the yellow color in here and take a little red and make it a little bit more brown uh, this is how easy just a little bit yellow with the red right just a little bit more brown color yeah, take a look over here get a little bit water into it and take a look okay good I'm going to change the angle a little bit I don't have to make it that stiff okay okay that's good now the bottom appear to be a little bit brownish okay here you go like this so we can wait a little bit before we are paint the color uh, touching it because we want it to be uh, a little bit softer, but we don't want it to be merged together when this is too wet. Okay, here you go. And focusing on the larger shape. That's good. Like that. I decided to make this apple a little bit bigger. Right, that's good. Okay, now the top. It's already done. This is good. And we can add a little bit even darker color. So I'm going to have a little bit more red and blue together. Okay. Now I'm going to actually have some color just it's called dripping in the color. Okay. Make sure it's less water. A little bit more darker at the corner this is good and this is good I can lift up some of the excess wet and lift up the excess wet this is good like that and can have a little bit shape over here too if we want to divide the top 
And now this is good. Let's coming down to the bottom over here. Let this drive a little bit before we come back to the top. Okay, we're getting there. Is slowly. Now we need to separate the left side and the right side over here, right? And also that color too. And this is a little bit lighter material. So we're gonna take a look. This is very much like this color, right? This is like a little bit more, uh, maybe I have a little bit more yellow. Just take a little yellow in here. Let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at this color. So this is separate from this. So with the three colors, uh, mixing color system is very very simple and we can paint it all over here on the table We can paint the wood a little bit darker so you can paint it on top of this So make this side So the whole side over here a little bit darker than This side. Okay, here we go That's that's good coming down over here you can make the bottom over here a little bit softer. So we're gonna use wet into wet. Okay, that's good. Like that. You see that the left side and the right side now separated. Now I'm gonna even have, now I'm gonna see what I want to do here. I'm gonna just make this a little bit softer like that. Lift it up at the corner and we can use the same color over here. And then have this come down a little bit like this, have this soft corner. That's good. And you stay the side a little bit softer. Like this, that's good. And you can see the, the corner over here, it looks very interesting, soft. Uh, now take a look on this side too. I'm gonna just use the uh, wet brush, just soften that. Okay, that's good, All right? Yeah, it's very simple. And now I'm gonna use a little bit yellow coming over here. And this is also the similar color over there. It's looking for the larger shape. All we're doing that is the larger area, okay? The larger area, larger area, larger area. Now I'm gonna take a look at the bottom over here. I'm gonna make it a little bit darker, still go with the larger area. So I'm gonna get is maybe a little bit blue with appear to be a little bit more green. This is good. Like this, this is good. I'm gonna have this coming down. Oh, that's too bright. So I'm gonna get a little bit blue and red. This is good. All right, I'm gonna come over here. As this is the, the turning, the corner of the table. Okay, coming down like this and a little bit more blue. That make it a little bit soft, that's good. And Coming down over right here, have a soft corner. This is very nice. And again, coming down over here. And so this color is going to also merge into the shadow side over here, but this side have a little bit more blue color. So I'm gonna have just have the blue. It may be a little bit exaggerated, but this is good. Okay, I'm gonna use just the corner of the brush and coming over here. That's good, like that. That's good. Coming down over here. That's just the shadow side. I'm gonna make this a little big shadow. And take a look at, just use the corner of the brush like that, cutting the shape. Okay. And this is good. Now, coming down at the bottom over here, I'm gonna let it merge together. Now you can see after you have the larger shape, you, the things actually gonna appear to be connected. And this is interesting. Okay, this, I'm gonna leave this a little bit uh, white. This is good, have a little bit, a little bit showing a little white. This is good, like that. And a little bit shape over here too. And use just the corner, you use the large brush, use the corner and make it appear to be uh, like a smaller brush. This is good. And using the large brush as much as you can, it's actually making things uh, easier to connect it in a larger sense. I'm gonna have this a little bit softer. Just use the corner. That's good. Yeah, this is good. Coming in like this. So I don't wanna connect with the other side yet. This is good. Now, the top is good. This color is good already. And what we're gonna do right now, 
we are going to uh, I'm going to remove the excess paint at the bottom or oh, it's going to running back to the top so I'm going to come back to uh, reshape this there's a little big fold we need to reshape that so at this point it may be a very good time to use the calligraphy brush okay there's two brushes together making a very good pair now what we're going to do I'm going to take a look the top over here is still a little bit wet so this also here is already dry, kind of dry. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this color, a little bit blue, have a little bit blue over here. Take care of the edges. Okay, the edges also important. The edges is by how many steps, how easy, smooth, connected. Also the same thing and how the value close together, okay? If you wanna make it too light and the edge would pop too much, okay? If you have it too, uh, too much contrast together, it would actually showing uh, really dominate. Okay, here you go. I'm gonna have this a little bit softer. Okay, this is good. I think that that we can soften that also. Use just the calligraphy brush, uh, the the two inch brush. Like I'm gonna just soften this to the corner. You see that? You can soften that edge now the edge it become a little bit more blurry this is good and that's what help and now and oh we actually missing something okay I'm gonna mix the red and the blue color okay just only this two color very easy to remix the color and take a look at the top over here they're seeing the other side there's okay that's good right over here I'm making up this that's good I'm gonna have this a little bit lower that's good after you drive it looks the same as the other side Okay, this is good. And we're gonna come back to that a little bit later. And now get a little bit blue, a little bit blue gray color on the top over here. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna have this little wet coming in. We're seeing a little bit softer, but most of the color over there is already stable. Okay, that's good. And coming down over here. And, and the bottom over here, a little bit darker. So I'm gonna use a little bit darker color and put it over here, wet into wet. All right, that's good. And coming down. That's just good for that area, wet into wet, that's pretty good. Now at this point, and we can come into our do a little bit wet into wet over here, and we're just looking for where is this uh, time sensitive, okay? So I'm gonna take a look at, and here, we're gonna have a little bit darker color over here, so a little bit softer. I'm gonna mix uh, the red and the blue color, get dark enough, but it's not the darkest color. So have a little bit yellow, a little bit yellow, it appear to be a little bit more like a greenish color. This is good. I think this is good enough. A little bit more blue. I think this is good. Now let's take a look. Let's take a look at this shape. And here you go. Coming down like this. You can see this, very nice. Coming down over here. Just a soft color. And take a look over here too. And have this. Maybe a little bit darker. Get a little bit blue and the red. Right, here you go. A little bit more coming down and make the color heavier at the bottom here. That's good. Like that. That's good. And a little bit color over here, but a little bit lighter. Get a little bit yellow. It just sends it. And if you have problem mixing color with the three primary, please just go to look at the video how to uh, mix color with the
prim primary colors. Even better, we have a program coming up, which is you also can register on the Gumroad. And that is happening this Saturday. Okay. So it's the day before the day after tomorrow. So go take a look at it. You take care of all the uh, fundamental uh, color mixing and techniques and coming down over here that's good and a little bit a little bit on this side coming through that this is good making the shape interesting and a little bit gap over here too okay keep that keep the color in here to be a little bit or lighter okay then everywhere else so i'm gonna it's just a little bit very little but still keep it light compared to the outside okay that's good that's good a little bit a little bit greater okay right over here there you go um, notice the shape and looking for the shape is very important in the painting process. Not just watercolor, anything, like oil, pastel, acrylics, any medium you use. If you don't see shapes, it's going to be a problem. And you're going to pursuing all the uh, realistic, but you're going to lose your own input as an artist. Focus on shape and simplified. I'm gonna have a little bit blue. Here you go, a little bit blue over here too. Like that, keep a little fresh color. All right, this is good. I'm gonna soften that a little bit. Okay, all right. And we're gonna come back a little bit later and have that a little bit darker, a little bit more clear. Now let's go back to, uh, after we're taking care of this, and this is all the getting dry, right? And the apple, let's put the color in the apple first. After we have the dark color, uh, the finish, the darker shade, and now we can see the color a little bit more in balance, okay? Uh, we like the balance that we created. And then we come back over here at the larger color uh, on, the, on different fruit area. Now I'm gonna clean up my mixing area, just this part. Okay, that's good. All right, now I'm gonna take a look at the bright yellow green apple. Okay, I'm gonna take the yellow, get the blue color. Okay, this is good. Now I'm gonna take this color, put in the outside over here. Here you go. Leave their uh, highlight. Just painting around. This is good. And coming around. I know many people are still staying and watching the only the puppet video on YouTube. And if you want to learn faster or have a better learning experience and suggest you to come in to join the membership. The membership monthly fees is not high, but you receive a lot of benefit as a members. And you can share your work, you can uh, have more conversation with me and other member, and you can get a uh, response in your progress and here we go and also all the learning uh, demonstration classes monthly challenges all those are depends on members needs and so including this demonstration is about this is what the member voting on last uh, last month so I put this into the demonstration right so okay this is break it a little bit that's good. Now we have the beautiful highlight. Okay. So if you don't want to be a member yet, you can also get all the full uh, video on 
not all or some available for videos on uh, the camera. And now it's critical, now the shadow side. If you're only painting the, co the color, don't see the value, there will be issues. I'm gonna take this darker color, okay? Just put it in here. And with the dark color and the light color, you see the, just the dark color. And we're going to add the, uh, we're gonna to come to add the reflection color a little bit later, okay? We can just leave it up and then add that too. Okay, now we have this. Now I'm gonna have the little bit darker green color. Okay, here you go. This side have a little bit redness. Just take a little red. Okay, here we go. That's the edge, have a little red. Okay, right over here. And that's next to the fruit. Now I'm gonna have a little bit more of the intermediate color, the yellow and the, the blue color mixed in the green. Now I don't need that much wet. So I'm gonna come in over here, right in the middle. So soften the color in between. Okay, that's good, like that. Use the wet into wet. We take care of the transition. Okay, that's good. Like that. And the middle over here, also use a little bit darker color right here. The top over here, a little bit darker. That's good. Okay, that's good. Now we very much create a form. So we're going to just lift up a little color over here. All right, so we come back to do some smoothing a little bit later. And now it's a little bit too quick. Now I'm gonna soften that. Just open up the click fit brush, make it look like a small flat brush. And this is good. And over here, light up a little bit. You can do that when it's still uh, wet. All right, so now the apple appear to be rounded. Okay, that's very important. And now we come back to a little bit later to do a little bit more changes. Like over here, we can also light up a little bit, lift it up, and because of the reflection from the fabric. Now I'm gonna come to the next one, okay? This one, take a look at it. The color is very interesting. Have some dry color on the top, so we're gonna Look at it a little bit more like an orange color. It's gonna get the yellow and get the red. There you go. You don't really need that much space to mix. So this is good. Now we put the orange color in the middle. And take a look at the space between this and the highlight. And put this color on the outside and put the highlight over here. And here you go, I have that color. And take a look. And outside the highlight, I still have this color a little bit first. Right on the top over here, also I have the same color. And maybe a little bit darker. Got a little bit red over here, mix on it. And this is good. Now, that's good. Now the rest. And I also have a little bit color around the highlight. We can actually divide the highlight a little bit texture like that if you want. That's good. Now we're gonna add the uh, red color. Can you see that? Um, very interesting. And we're gonna see the little bit red color. And a little bit red. Just take the take a look, and that's wet into wet. And we're gonna add that darker texture after. So put this color in first, and then we're gonna add the darker color later. Okay, here you go, like that, that's good. And come down a little bit, and that's very good. So if you have any questions, please put it into your comment. Uh, put it into the chat. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna have a little bit darker color. I'm gonna just get the red, red, 
and put it on the shadow side. Okay, here you go again. And some a little bit softer, the texture, and put it over here. And later, we're gonna come back with some even darker color, but before we're looking for the texture, we make sure that the whole fluid is rounded, okay? Have the idea, I have the look, have the feeling of the roundness. I'm gonna have this coming up over here as a little bit darker. All right, I'm gonna have that a few texture and that's getting dry. That's what's good. Like this and that's good coming in like that. That's pretty good. I can have a little, a few line. Yeah, this is how you draw an apple, a pink and apple, uh, similar uh, with lots of layer of texture. Okay. That this one coming through over here. That's good. And then with some even darker texture, and this gonna be looks really good, but more important, making sure that it's that dark enough at the bottom over here. And I'm gonna have, this is dark color, okay? Make it a little bit darker. Okay, make sure that bottom over here, dark enough, okay? This is good, the side over here, dark enough. And making sure in the shadow side, it's dark enough. You can keep adding darker and darker color, okay? Okay, and the color is gonna look dry a little bit later after it dry. So no worry too much about that. Okay, this is good. And right in the middle of the apple, it's probably already dry. So I'm gonna have a little bit more grayish color. So take a little bit gray color, put it in the middle right here. Okay, right there. That's good, like that. And then I'm gonna make it a little bit softer. Okay, a little bit yellow over here, a little bit softer, like that. Okay, this is good. Some nice transition, wet into wet. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit for you to see uh, the fruit a little bit more. Uh, let's take a look. And we're gonna, some of the thing we need to come back to do a little bit later. Again, okay, for the apple over here, I'm gonna have a little bit darker. So that's just ready. So it's still a little bit wet. Okay, I leave a little bit. In the middle, have a little bit lighter like that. So this is good. We come back, let it fully dry and come back to uh, continue doing a little bit more. So the uh, pomegranate and in the back is a little bit darker than this, this apple. Now let's take a look. And it's going to be have a little bit yellow because it has a little bit brownish feeling. So this is good. And mix the little yellow in here. That's already good. And now it's just good. The apple is already dry, the edge. So it's not gonna merge together, right? That's pretty good. Now coming over here, continue. And that's good. I'm gonna leave the middle over here, have a little bit, uh, some light shape. Coming here. And this is getting dry, the apple. This is good. We can have a, even a little bit darker. And just as long as you don't put too much water into it, it won't affecting uh, the surrounding that much. Okay, the apple over here. And we're getting in the middle over here. That's good. Now the middle over here is need to be much darker. So I'm gonna have the dark color a little bit later. All right, here you go. So it's like this. And I'm gonna cut this shape a little bit darker. A little bit smaller. Okay, that's good. Now we're gonna take care of some area, a little bit darker, right? So how we can make it darker, you know, the three primary color, just red and the blue color will make it very dark. You maybe disagree with me, is it? This is purple, it's not really. This is the green shade blue color. The green shade blue color already have some kind of yellow in it. So it's not uh, purple much. It's instead of a little bit more um, a little bit more gray, kind of uh, dark color. Okay, here you go. Here you go. Coming over here. That's good. 
past the shadow side and the edge over here a little bit darker here too okay over here also a little bit darker and that's good on the edge over here a little bit darker and that's good and I'm gonna also use this color going into field in the darker shape on the outside okay this is fine okay I'm gonna soften a little bit over here now let's take a look at the apple now the apple is dry is is but however it looks like it's not actually or uh, not dark enough okay we can also after you dry we can we can start adding a little bit yellow green to so make it a little bit more even fresh right get the yellow so I'm just going to put the yellow on top of this you see that it's immediately look brighter okay here you go so no need to to worry too much about at the beginning so just put as much do as much as you can when it's just wet into wet but after that you always can fix it if you need to improve it a little bit more now on this side it definitely need darker color even darker right here right here there you go now you can make the apple a little bit more rounded this is good already okay so I'm not gonna touch this side I'm gonna leave it like that for now and come back to do a little bit later okay this is good let's take a look at the fruit on this side after filling all those are uh, uh, smaller shape and then we can come back to our uh, okay and then we can come back to uh, let's get uh, create a balance now take a look at the fruit over here maybe before the fruit we put the yellow color uh, yellow uh, uh, brown color wear yellow light brown color like an orange color right here and I'm gonna put down the mark That's good. Like that, the top over here, have this color too. And you can put the color everywhere on the mark, including the light and the shadow. And then we can put the shadow side. Uh, in my brush, when I paint in this, it's not really lots of color. Okay, yeah, so this, is this the right color? If you want, you can make it even darker. Okay. Okay, here you go. I'm going to make this. You can change the color if you want. Okay. It can be a little bit darker. And here you go. Can be a little bit darker. And then the handle. It, through the painting process, there's always something come up uh, outside of what you expected. So in that case, you don't want to uh, stop uh, whatever you're doing. You want to keep going with what you're doing and then come back a little bit later. Okay, take care of that later. Okay, let's take a look at here. And the fruit. And let's do it one by one. And let's take a look at. It doesn't need to be all clean. It has all three colors together. Now let's take a look at the uh, from the bottom and coming up. I think this is just almost the red color with a little bit blue. Okay, that's good enough. Like this, and I'm gonna start working on this one, looking for the highlight. Okay, looking for here. That's good. Paint around the highlight. That's good. Right here. Right, not bad. Okay, that's one. Okay. That's one. Add the one in this, uh, next to it. I'm gonna add a little red color, just to have a little bit blue. Okay. Have a slightly little bit different. I'm gonna come in over here and take a look on this side. And we're going to take a look at where's the highlight. For the grape, it's very important to keep 
the highlight. Okay, now here you go. And I'm going to continue painting the one right on top of it. And we're going to separate this a little bit later. Okay, just have this mushed together. Okay, like this. And then on this side too. Okay, a little bit more, even a little bit darker on the side. Look at the first, and I'm going to have a little bit different shape. And the top, I'm going to also have a little bit lighter color. So over here too, and I'm going to have this a little bit more yellow, right? So it's kind of fun to, uh, to go through seeing the color, seeing the color next to it. Okay, here you go. And then on this side over here, okay, and looking for this uh, full video after I edited it, and it was posted on the Gumroad for non-member to purchase. And then I'm going to zoom in so you can see actually how this are uh, being done in the close-up view. Okay, that's good. You can see that the color wet into wet looks very interesting. And I'm going to have a little bit darker. And look at the video description too, if you are on YouTube. And there's a 20% discount code for you to purchase any available uh, full lessons on uh, Gumroad. Okay, is considered our Black Friday. And okay, here you go. That's good. Now, one at a time. Now I'm going to just use just the water with a little bit light, a little bit kind of gray color. A little bit light gray color. And then put it on the top over there. And this is lighter. You see that? This is the color for the grape at the top. Okay, like that. And also around this highlight. Also a little bit light gray color. Like that, that's what I intended to do. Okay, let's wait into it. Let's keep going. And let's take this color again. Take a look at the fluid over here. And pressure down. And take a look at that highlight. Okay, on this side, a little bit, uh, a little bit lighter gray color. So painting around over here. Here you go, the top. Okay, that's good. Uh, outside over here, and the edge a little bit darker. So I'm gonna come back over here also, use a little gray color, like a little light gray color. Here you go. Now I'm gonna have this a little bit lighter and let it merge into it. That's good, way into it. So I'm gonna have a little jump a little bit. So some of the, the dark, deeper colors, we come back to after you drive. Now I'm going to come in back to, or maybe start from the color on the right and the far left. Okay, I'm going to get the red color, get the little blue. Okay, here you go. Take a look at this color. Here you go, right over here. That's good. And take a look at this side. There's a small area, wet into wet. It's very interesting. Okay, have a little big shape over here and observe and then make a decision get a little bit red i'm just going to put the red color right in the middle over here okay that's good like that and i'm just going to use the water and soften this make it this a little bit lighter a little bit lighter over here so make the highlight look like a little bit glowing Okay, and a little bit translucent. Okay, here we go. Let's go a little bit faster. Coming to the next one, right over here. And the next one, a little bit darker. And here you go, a little bit darker. We come back to uh, separate them. And this, and the highlight over here. That's good. And there's the gap over here, and this whole area, a little bit darker. Okay, a little bit blue color. And here you go, that's good. Coming over here. That's a little bit lighter, i take care of that. And then, I'm just going to continue with the blue 
little bit darker color for this piece. Okay, let's get is this piece a little bit darker. And coming down over here, this piece, and we're gonna separate them in a minute. Okay, okay, here we go. I'm gonna have this all dark color, a little bit darker. This piece, here you go. Okay, that's good. Like that. And on this side, it's a little bit lighter. So I take it all the top over here. I'm gonna make this one also a little bit darker. So I have a little bit with them, like a dark, light, dark, light, and dark, dark, light, light, dark, light. Okay, here you go. And now I'm gonna use a little gray color. Okay, be patient. If you say, oh, I don't have patience, and we should all have enough patience. Okay, we like to doing this. So like have a little bit, just a little bit water, soften that, that's good. A little bit, just the water, and lighter, like that, this is good. And on this side, also a little bit darker. So we don't have to make it all look real, okay? We want to look feel good, okay? That's a little bit yellow mixed into it, but more like a, like a feeling of a little bit orange color. And take a look at here, here we go. Here we go, a little bit yellow orange color. Let's get this one too. Okay, now I'm gonna get a little bit red and mix into it, okay, here you go. Like this and all right this is good getting variety I'm gonna just get a little red color and be patient and a little bit more red that's good and that edge over here and the top over here and have a little bit purple color a little bit darker color here we go Okay, that's good. And the top over here. And grape is always a challenge. Get the red and the blue color. Here you go. Okay, here we go. Take a look at this color. Continue. And let the color merge together. That's okay. Okay, merge that over here. And this is good. I'll come back to take care of that. And take a look a little bit red. That's good. A little bit lighter color on the top. Yeah, that's good. A little bit. That's very good. A little bit darker in the and the top over here. Okay, it's showing the other fruit on the other side. Okay, the top over there. And have a little bit gray, just a little gray color. Okay. So with this three color together, at some point it will be a little bit gray. That depends on what kind of grade. The blue grade, a warm grade, and based on how much color you use in the each of the three primary. I'm gonna have this color a little bit over here, a little bit lighter, some variety. This is good, and and this one too, and together like that. And very good. I'm gonna continue with the uh, uh, red and the uh, the blue color mixed together. That's good. Okay. And this color just a little bit darker. First, mix a little bit darker color, and a little bit darker color, and over here much darker okay much darker take a look at this one and a little highlight on the top okay here we go and the one on the top over here almost there be patient okay now i'm going to use a little bit fresh color just get a little bit more red, make it a little bit more fresh. Okay, here we go. 
and then take a look this add that wet into wet together that's good and have that a little bit lighter so it maybe have a little bit more like a bluish gray color okay and the top okay, here you go a little bit more like that that's good and over here too have a little bit wet and here you go like this and the top over over there have a little bit gray and a little bit gray color like this beautiful now let's see a lot more translucent that's just good now we're gonna come back to the bottom over here this already dried so i'm gonna have a little bit separation i'm gonna get the red and the blue color and together make a little bit darker in the middle over here mm -hmm. there's a little bit darker right in the gap over here and i'm gonna have a little bit red makes a little red that's just good now i'm gonna see the cast shadow if we see this catch the shadow and we see the separation okay that's good and the bottom over here and we can add other color to it and this the, the gap over here need to be darker okay here you go a little bit darker over here and there's the gap over here in between a little bit darker color you can add that a little bit darker color over here and we can make that darker too that's good and the bottom right over here have a little bit darker color like that so gradually you separate them and patience and confidence if you don't have the confidence you may not really trust that what you're doing is right and all is going to get the result trust that you can do it okay especially i can do it showing you that means you can do it if you follow the same process and the same mindset okay here we go come a little bit lighter a little glowing this is good a little bit red and a little bit fresh color okay have a little bit a little bit darker color right on the top over here so it separate these two together also this is another they separate these two of them on the side over here and the same thing this is still wet let's come to this side this a little bit more red on the edge okay just take a little red a little red on the edge that's good a little red over here like this that's good a little bit so at more and more definition a little bit more more details it will definitely give you the confidence as you are going forward Okay, that's good. And I'm gonna have a little bit more the blue and red, which is up here to be purple. And this is good. And a little bit darker over here coming down, and even darker. So I'm gonna get a little bit, even a little bit more blue with the red, even red and the blue, but a little bit more blue, it will make it even darker. Okay, here you go. There's two colors together. Now I'm gonna have this. Look at this, this, and this separation of this fruit, and I have catch the shadow underneath. Okay, that's good. A little bit over here, and then a little bit darker color, and the shadow area. Okay, that's good. A little bit dark color on the top over here. So you still can, even it's dark, you still can make it even uh, darker somewhere, right? Or as long as you're not actually uh, break the the dynamic compositions that you're doing or the entire painting okay you can have a little bit shadow over here and here you go uh, soon enough we're gonna paint the uh, the wine the uh, the lines and it will look really good I'm sure you agree with me it's getting get, getting better right and over here i'm going to have a little bit more catch the shadow looking for shadow catch the shadow light uh, and you can make everything right and this little shape inside this fluid make it look more 
translucent and that's good like that a little bit big separate okay here we go now take a look at the top over here now it's the time to make this even more changeable okay here we go now it's already drive this is good okay here you go look before you paint and then take a look at the top over here we're gonna have a little bit separation and take a little bit of little red wood mixed with this blue color here you go and this little color separate that's good there's also the color over here separate from the one and the, at the bottom okay that's good and this side a little bit darker and over here a little bit darker that's good and here you go a little bit darker and that's good All right there's another foot over here also put that in there's one over here and and also there's the separation over here we can see actually need to be have for the color of the mark or we can fill in the color make it look like there's something else over there this is fine and there's another one also over here a little bit darker so this is good now the fruit the grape almost done and not hard and now we can come back to the here so don't stick with one place for too long right so this we're gonna wait until this dry before come back to do the shadow side of the mark. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna come back with the flat brush. I always use the flat brush for a little bit larger area. So I'm gonna make this a little bit softer. All right, this brush is very good for lifting colors. Okay, and if you don't lift, not be able to live in a watercolor, this is almost like you lost lots of freedom and I'm gonna have this a little, little bit lighter the paper I'm using is Arches uh, cold press watercolor paper I'm gonna make this slightly a little bit lighter okay and I think this is good I'm gonna come back over here and enforce some of dark color so I'm gonna just take this color it's almost the right color and I'm gonna make this a little bit darker. Take a look at right over here. And there's a shape. That's good. I'm gonna have this shape coming down over here. Make sure that the darker shape first have a little texture. That's good. Have a little bit darker shape over here. And Painting is not just to make one certain area looks good. Is the whole uh, painting looks good that is considered as a good painting, right? And have uh, some texture over here. Okay, here you go. Consider and the direction of the texture and playing a big role in the final painting. Okay, that's good. Like that. And have a little bit greenish color. And that's yeah, interesting. On the top over here, have a little bit shape like that. And on the side over here, we can have that a little bit like that. It's a reflection. Okay, coming over here, that's good. And yeah, maybe need to be a little bit darker. Okay, here we go. That's good. All right coming down over here let the water making some effect this is good and also over here have a little bit yellow color and showing over here and this color anyhow it still need to be darker than the light shape okay like that that's good all right getting there okay and the other side, I'm gonna just have a little big suggestions over here coming up like this. That's good. All right, I hope you guys still have the patience. Keep following me. Okay, here you go. Coming on this side, got this, also a little big shadow. Okay, like that. 
coming down. That's good. And the bottom over here, I don't have to make it too, uh, right? I don't have to make it too dark and keep it a little bit soft. In fact, I'm gonna have some texture coming over here like this. And have some a little shape. Create some texture like that. Okay, now I'm gonna add some even darker color. Okay, here we go. And let me see. I'm gonna have even darker color. Get the red and the blue color. So let's spend a little bit more time at the bottom area here before we uh, come back to the top. Okay, here we go. This may be too dark in this case. I'm gonna get this some yellow color and take a look at this. This good, like that, coming down. Okay, here you go. Also a little bit over here, like this, coming down. Okay, that's good. Now we have a little bit weight and a little bit over here. Separate that a little bit and a little bit over here, like that. Very good. All right, that's good. And the uh, bottom. That's good. Okay, this is good. Um, now we're gonna come back to uh, either take a look at the apple, uh, the mark, I think this is ready. Now I'm gonna actually have, maybe take care of the mark a little bit. I'm gonna have that a little bit brown color and just get the yellow with the red and the blue color. That is the color we need. Just a little bit darker color and gradually we come together to finish the painting. Okay, here you go. This is the shadow. Okay, here you go, coming over. Okay. Getting there. Now I'm gonna get a little bit more yellow. Okay, have a little bit yellow uh, brown color on this side, a little bit lighter. Coming down like this, this is good. Okay, use this color coming down over here and anything the gap. And I'm gonna use the brush like this way. I can see this, make it graduate blending. This is good. Not picky, not too much problem. And I'm gonna take this color and I'm gonna make the shadow. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to have a little bit more yellow and make it a little bit lighter. Okay, here you go, the top over here. That's good. And the side over here. Yeah, that's good, like that, it's very good. Now, and the edge over here, okay, keep a little edge, that's good. That's good, the mark's almost there. And we're gonna put the green color on the top, that will be fine, okay. Okay, now I'm gonna do a little bit to maybe this apple. I'm gonna have a little bit darker color, so this is pretty dark, got a little red color, right? Next into is this. This is good. I'm gonna have a few uh, mark and put it down like that. That's good. A few like this. That's good. A couple and a couple suggestions. And the apple looks is very very nice. I'm gonna have that a little bit softer maybe. Maybe a little bit more red. Okay. Just a little bit red, okay. A little bit softer color. That's good. All right. So the apple looks very interesting already. So I'm gonna take the middle over here, get make that even a little bit darker. This is good. Now I'll take a look on this apple. Uh, here we go. We don't have to finish everything at once. So not one step. Now make this a little big blue and the yellow. Okay, this is good, much brighter. 
Okay, a little bit more yellow. Now, have the middle over here. Painting around the stamp. Okay, here you go, like that. Okay, this is good. Now make this a little bit softer. So this the detail. Okay, now the inside apple looks was pretty good. Uh, maybe too much blue, but we're gonna see. Right, and the outside, I'm gonna have a little bit more yellow. And I'm gonna put another round. Have this, a little bit more yellow on the top. Make it even a lot more smoother. A little bit more brighter too. Okay, here we go. That's good. Now, now I'm gonna read looking at the bottom over here and at this a little bit yeah, good have some reflection that that's good i'm going to leave that a little bit of reflection color that's good a lot better that's good on the top over there i'm going to have a little bit more warmer color right over here okay this is good and this is the reflection color from the surrounding so now, the apple looks is very good already. Now I'm gonna add a little bit red, uh, a little bit reddish. Okay, a little bit more. Like, take a look at. That's the reflection of this, of the apple. Uh, the red apple. I'm gonna put even more red, put over here. This is good. That feeling, there's the color reflected onto this apple. This is good, like that. Screen your eye if you don't see the difference. Okay, this is good. A little bit gray, coming over here too. Like a little bit, make a little bit softer, turning over. So the apple looks is very good. And the middle over there, we can have even a little bit deeper color. So it's just very, very tiny, tiny dark color. That's it. Right in the middle over here, hopefully. It's already dry, as the put right on it. This is good. That's good. I'll come back a little bit later if I do need to do more. Now let's just take a look at uh, this fruit and the back. Just put a couple dark shades. Okay, that's good. And have some reflection. Not reflection, that's right there. Cat shadow. Right over there. That's good. Now. That's good, get a little bit gray color in the middle, so it's not just white. That's good, like that. So, that taking care of that. So this three uh, fruit is almost done, right? So I'm gonna give a little bit yellow color in the middle over here too, for the apple. Have a little bit smoother, a little bit brighter. Okay, have this. This is good, make it a little bit softer. Okay, looks very good, the apple. I come back to uh, add the detail at the bottom. So all right now, I'm going to add a little bit more gray color with the blue. I'm going to put that right in here. That's the shadow. Okay, that's good. I'm going to have a little bit thin line coming down over here too. Just make it interesting. Okay, a little bit thin line like this. That's good. A little bit thin line. You see those? I have interesting separation. That now those all those simple things is gonna tie together, make it the whole impression of the impression of the beautiful landscape. Okay, here we go. Coming down like this, and also on this side have a little bit gray, and separate that a little bit gray color. Like that, that's showing the, there's a little bit here too. Now, this the uh, cast shadow. Okay, here you go. Catch the shadow. And here you go. Have a little bit yellow. And a little bit here. See this, the catch the shadow. Beautiful. Onto this. And we can also have this color. Coming down a little bit blue. And think about how dark the color before you think about what color is it. Okay, that's good. Coming over there and separate that. And gradually, 
and hopefully you when I have the same confidence and say oh this is no no difficult and just and just need to just go through that step and have a little bit texture like that have a little some texture maybe not so much sometimes you don't want to have too much I'm gonna get a little bit yellow put it here and that's good like that and all right now I'm gonna come back to take a look at also seeing a little bit light color seeing that there's a two different layers so showing this actually showing the the under layer and a little bit darker you can see this that's good lighter on the top so how to mix color is actually supposed to be very easy and interesting thing I'm gonna have a little bit more yellow softer blend it to the blend this in don't try to use too much too much of those uh, light color and then stick it on top of the paper you have to remove color in order to add the light color okay and and over here the bottom over here I'm gonna have the little reflection I'm gonna light up the little color okay you can light up little color this is from the white fabric underneath that's good light up a little bit even a little bit more that's good you see how easy you can lift up the color right okay. maybe there's a little bit too much and I can light up a little bit over here Let's make it a bit softer okay let's get also over here maybe a little reflection from the fabric a little bit lighter underneath this is great I'm gonna do even a little bit darker and right here a little bit red and a little bit darker right here like that way into wet that's a little bit darker color right over there Okay, that's good. A little bit dark color right over here. And a little bit dark color at the bottom over here. A little darker color. Tip it right there. This is good. A little bit darker color right over here. And it's seeing the other side. So also it's a small shape. You're going to tighten together very nicely. Now let's put the uh, light brown color. Uh, for the um, chopping board and get the yellow get the red now this is good and too much red and get a little bit more yellow and this is good maybe too bright in that case get a little bit blue so this are all the three colors so if it's not this one this must be the other one and that kind of thinking okay that's maybe too too dark I'm gonna take a look at take a look at right here here you go that's the shape here you go right there that's good and here you go like that and the shape over here coming in and after you drive I'll come back to at the little big shadow side and it will look like the chopping board okay also on this side have continuous okay like that okay then I'm gonna put the uh, top of the mark which is the green color I'm gonna take the blue and get the yellow and this is almost good I think this is good for the middle over here let's take a look and here you go okay how's that color okay I'm gonna come in and then take a look and leave the highlight okay here you go like that and the highlight right over here and that's good like that and I'm gonna leave this with the highlight this is good okay on this side need to be darker okay the shadow side 
Okay. We can make this a little bit thicker if you want to. Okay, the top area may be a little bit too big. I'm gonna see. We can keep it like that if we want to, but let's add a little bit darker color, just a little bit more red and the blue color on this side. Okay, here you go. That's good. All right, on this side too, a little bit darker, like that. And right under, we can also have a little bit darker, have a little bit more red. There you go, a little bit more red. A little bit more red. Okay, take a look at right in the middle of it here. It can be a little bit darker. Uh, I think the red is the reflection color from the grape, and this is good. Now I'm gonna have uh, this color and the transition color. Okay, here you go, like that. I'm gonna make this, the mark a little bit more rounded. Okay, like this, coming down. And a little bit red on this side. That's good. All right, and on the other side, I'm gonna also have a little bit more gray over here and make it feel like a little bit more turning away to the other side. Okay, that's good. All right, oh, now the painting getting closer and closer to finish. On the top over there, I'm gonna make it a little bit dimmer. I don't want it to be so, so bright. Okay, that's fine. Okay, and now come back to take a look at the gray. Okay, and we're gonna we're gonna wait a little bit. This is still a little bit uh, uh, wet, so let's take a look at other places. Like for example, the outside over here. I'm gonna have this a little bit darker. Yeah, here you go. I'm gonna have that coming over like this, and also here maybe a little bit less bright. Okay, this is good. And this can be a little bit, that little triangle can be a little bit less bright. Okay, and here you go. I'm gonna make this a little bit lighter. Okay, here you go. Adjust the color, some of the shape, and then. And let's use this, do a little adjusting. Use the fry brush. I'm gonna have this a little bit lighter. I'm gonna lift up a little bit color over here. Make a few more as uh, the fabric. I'm gonna have this a little bit lighter. See that? Lift up color a little bit. Like, like that. Okay. And also the bottom over here, I'm gonna have a little bit richer color. Right now it's just a little bit, even though it looks like the reference, there's really few good enough. So let's do the change retouching. I'm gonna make it as a little bit purplish color. We're gonna see how it look. And here we go. I think I feel good about this color. I'm gonna see. And I'm gonna just wash it. I'm gonna leave some area also a little bit light. Okay, like this. And here you go, like this. I'm gonna have this also, like this color. Okay. Sometimes you're making the decision just in a, in an impulse. Like you don't have to plan that a day ago. Okay, like this. Okay. Also gonna have this. I have a little red. I'm gonna have this. And feeling a little bit divided. And in the bottom, I can have a little bit blue. And over here like that, a little bit different color. Okay, and also a little bit too plain over here. I'm gonna take this color too, and have a little bit separate like this. That's good. Coming down, and here you go. Here you go, like that. That's good. A little bit connected over here. But overall, this whole shape is lighter than other places. Okay, 
just like this. That's good. A bit more. That's good. Like that on this side. I'm gonna also have a little bit blue color. Okay, so it's a little bit blue color over here. Shade it. That's good. Now since we're doing this, let's take the time and then and the top is getting better and better. Uh, more and more drive. So now is the time. Now I'm gonna come back to uh, just first add a little brown color. I take this as the brown color. Maybe a little bit dry, get a little bit yellow, a little bit red, and the blue color. Right? And then you can and let's see, take a look at this is a little bit more blue. Okay, that's good. A little bit cooler. And yes, take a look. And this is good. Take a look at that. Coming up over here. All the way. That's good. Okay. Coming over here. Like that. This is good. And a little bit coming down over here. That's good, like that. And some coming up here, and there's a little line over here, that's good. And you can make it a little bit darker, so you can make it more visible. Okay, let's see, here we go. Okay, that's good. Like that. Now I'm gonna have some even darker color, so how you can make the dark color? Red and the blue. Okay, here you go. And it will look like really black. Okay, here we go. That's good. More blue. That's good. Cast shadow. That's good. And there's a little bit darker. Now you can use this dark color, even giving more deeper value. And here you go. That's good. A little bit darker. A little bit darker here. And a little bit darker there. A little bit darker here. A little bit darker there. That's good. A little bit darker there. Eliminate some of the color on the gap. Okay. Now for the chopping board. Now I'm going to come to just a little bit darker. Just a little bit darker brown gray color here you go now that's good coming in and also on this side a little bit more like this okay here we go coming in a little bit that's good now coming over now here a little bit darker on this side so i'm going to take this a little bit darker brown color here you go like that that's great yeah here we go yeah, a little bit darker color over here too, like that. And let's see, and maybe over here, now there's the final adjusting. Anything you want to adjust before you say the painting is finished. Okay, a little bit separate over here, a little bit separate over there. Let's put a little mark over there, that's okay. And on the back over here, a little bit separate, a little bit darker over here. Like that, that's good. Okay, and wonderful. And let's see. And there's some line. I also want to indicate a little line over here. There's a little line folding like that, coming in a little bit darker over here, and a little bit line over here. That's good. Uh huh, a little bit darker, and that's good. A little line over here, and that's good, like that. And on the edge over here, you can have some other indication. This is good. Take a look over here, and then this can be a little bit, have a little, even a little bit darker on the edge over here, like that. 
Okay, take a look. This is this whole area. Is that work look at good enough? Okay, and the last thing we're gonna do, we're also going to maybe use a little brush white and punch out a couple areas. So the white paint that I'm using is this uh, brush uh, titanium white. Okay, here we go. Just only a few things. I'm not depend on the uh, white paint, but at the end, there's always a couple things you can actually use to adjust. Okay, this, have it back a little bit. And let's take a look at, that part looks really good. I'm gonna have a little light over here. I'm gonna have a little bit light and coming over here, like that. And maybe, this is good. Um, this probably need to lose it a little bit over here. And uh, we can have a little line over here and a little line over here, just divide it. Like that. Okay. And then this painting is finished. Thank you. So I'm going to stop.